So um, we're gonna carry on for where we left off. Carrying on for where we left off. Let's see what we can do in here. Okay. So I can see some details in here. Let me try and carve those out also. Maybe I should raise this up a bit. Something like this should be fine. Okay. Put my standard brush. Okay, let me use my damn standard brush instead. Pick my damn standard brush. Use the brush size. Begin to add in those details. Increase this. You see some some details in here. Take this down. Increase this. See some details in here. Little one in here. My smooth brush. Can smooth this back in. Okay. Do some little carvings in here. Use my smooth brush. Reduce the intensity. Kind of smooth that back in. Okay, just adding some damages on this. Let me do something also around here. So my smooth brush can dial that back in, going across. I think this would be a good time to turn off symmetry. So I'll turn off symmetry and try to work on this individual piece. Breaking off and detailing this top piece. It shouldn't be completely perfect because this is not a perfect mesh. Very perfect mesh. It's metal. It's supposed to have some, supposed to have some wear and tear and some scratches somewhere. So I'm just using this to break up the surface. If it look more jagged. Go in here and do likewise. Okay, let me let me. Okay, I think. Let me smooth this back in. Okay. Undo that. I'm 
okay ever so slightly because as I've seen it detailing this in substance painter so I don't I don't need to go crazy in here but I still need to add some add some some wear and tear some edge damage on some places Doing some of these that are dead with symmetry turned on. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I feel like should still dig into this a bit more. Let me use my. Let me go to the stroke. Turn on, turn on the lazy mouse. I'll turn on symmetry for this. Trying to dig into this. Get something a bit more accurate on this. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, that's fine. You should do some, do some build up in some areas. Building that up and then using my smooth brush to dye that to dye that down. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's see, there's something else we can add in here. Turn up symmetry and kind of kill this in here. Okay, that's fine. Let me go back in here. Now for this piece, So I'm going to be using some wood. I'm going to be using some wood texture for this. I'm using some wood stick texture for this. So I'm going to go in and bring in my wood. So I'm going to show you guys where I got the wood from. So I'm going to be using that as, as alpha for for this particular piece in here. Okay, so let's. Detail this wooden parts. Let me bring back my reference. This box. This is my reference image. Okay, so let me let me isolate. Let me isolate this guy. Control and Shift. Select this. I think now will be a good time to hide. Okay, let me solo this. So load this piece. So now let's start working on this. So I'm going to be using an alpha for this. I'm using an alpha for this. Let me drag this out. I'll use my drag rectangle. 
then I will import my alpha you can import so I have like few alphas to, few wood alphas to use for this they are in here so I'm going to be using this white wood so from among these two and five so let me start with the two import alpha two name do an import again import five so now two and five so let me start with the two get a better view on this so I'm going to I don't want something this is too intense Take this up a bit. Okay. Maybe a bit, a bit more. That's way too much. Looking for the right amount of this. Maybe around 30 something should be fine. Thirty should be fine. But I seem to make adjustment to this. I need to be some in some kind of radar. It's been some kind of radar format. Okay, under alpha. Click on modify. Let's see. On that alpha, I'll turn on my radar feed. You can see it's affecting up here, as you can see. We so around here should be fine. Drag this out again. Uh, that's fine. Now I'm not I'm not having so much of that bulge in there anymore. So I would let me see what we what else we can play with in here. Tiling, let's leave leave the tiling as it is. Mid value. Let's see. Let's see what this gives us. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. So, uh, let me see if you can tweak something in here also. I would like to break up that surface with a bit more noise. No, no, that's just that's way too much. I'm just trying to get some variations in there. Maybe two should be fine. If not one, well, one should be fine. I'm trying to figure out what this mid value actually does. Okay, pushes that in. So maybe I'll, I'll leave the mid value should be around 50. 50 should be fine. Yes. Be more accurate on this. Use 50. When I drag, drag that all the way to 100, it's kind of pushing into the mesh. And I don't want that. So I have a noise at zero, and then we have something like this. That's fine. Maybe make it let me make it this a bit more intense. Make this a bit more intense. A ton of symmetry. Looking for the right. Ok, 
okay now that's too intense looking for the right amount of this to put in here we're almost there maybe 45 should be fine yeah 45 is fine for this okay do I don't want this to, to look too identical so I'm going to be blending I'm going to be blending okay Uh, let's see. This is looking good already. Maybe I'll do this. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's try our uh, wood. Wood five. I don't know if this sixty maintains those settings. Okay, those that's cool. Let's plug in something in here. Yeah, that's, this is lovely. I think this order alpha two should be fine in here. Okay, that's fine. As you can see, the detail is just really nice because our poly count is really high. Do likewise also in here. Let me do this. In a really neat way. Maybe in here I'll take down the intensity around here. Kind of play playing with the intensity. I'll change the bro change this to five. Take down the intensity and drag in something in here, like so. That's fine. I don't want to go crazy on this. This is, this is fine. See what we have. This is the back of this. Okay. I should break this up somewhat like so. And yeah, for the top part, we can start working on this. Let me use two. I don't know if ZBrush has some wood alphas in here to play with. Uh, Probably not. Probably not.
you are probably not so I'm, I'm just going to continue on just work with this increase this a bit more change this I don't want it to look too yeah this is fine so we can live with this so in just few minutes we already have a detailed looking wood alpha Still looking good. Let me break this edge a bit more. Same likewise. And do same also. This front piece. I should increase intensity a bit more. Get that creeps creeps detail in there. This this needs to look this needs to look believable. So changing the alpha and stamping some of the details in here also. And then now that's the fun part about ZBrush. So many tools that makes your life easier. So with this now, I can now start doing some. I start doing some and sculpted unsculpted details also in here to make this look more interesting let me add some details here now turning off symmetry is just to make this look a bit more uh, not too symmetrical but adding some variations on this Okay, I think he also needs some love. Yeah, that's fine. So, I have something like this to work with. So, I'll do a save. Let me do a save. Let me do a quick save on this. Just to make sure I don't lose, I don't lose anything. Okay. Means if I go out of solo mode, yeah, okay, I have that in the right position as it should. So now I can use my, can use my dem standard brush now to begin to frame into this. Use my dem standard brush to begin to add some more details in here. On the let me take down my lazy mouse around here and the intensity I will take down also so now I, I will just try to just to follow the lay down part I already have and to intensify some shapes that have been built in here already Just 
let's make them look a bit more intense not going too crazy on this but getting something in there go up here and walk a bit more up here trying to intensify some of the lines Just following the parts, following the laid, laid down parts that I've gotten from this alpha, and then trying to intensify them by drawing lines on those edges to make it look a bit more intense. Okay, so you can spend a lot of time between this, a lot of time just to make this look, just to make this look really good. You have that freedom to spend a lot of time in here to make this look really, really, really good. So I'm just taking my time out of, I'm not put, this is not, I'm not, I'm not working on symmetry for this. I'm working out of symmetry. And then just pulling the the pattern I already have and then just digging into that because, because when the alpha, the alpha, even though the alpha has some depth or some height information in there it still looks kind of flat in a way so you still need to use your your traditional brushes in here to kind of break up the surface while adding some more height information and some depth in there it, does, it gives you that believable look since the, the, vari the variation you add in there by hand makes your actually sells out your work really well you don't just use that fast and then just good you're done it doesn't work that way you need to go in there with by yourself and then work and refine the shapes a bit more refine the shape a bit more to give it more volume in terms of depth like in here for example uh, I already have the lines in there. Let me take down my brush. Undo that. Let's follow the lay down parts. I already have, I have in here. And then just use that to get more information in here. As you can see, it's making the work. Making the work pop out a bit more okay now just for the sake of this tutorial I would I won't go too much go too crazy on this I'm sure you get the idea already.
f frame this out as you can see from this view you can see all the detail poking out very much on this so I still want to work some more in there get that variation of depth in there Okay, I'm almost, almost done with this. Okay, so I'll save this. I believe I'm done with that. So I'm not gonna deal with everything that has to do with wood in here. Let me deal with everything that has to do with wood. So I'll go out of solo mode. shift and alt and just tap to bring everything back in here so now as you can see looking it's looking it's not looking a bit more interesting it's looking a bit more interesting than it was before now we have some interesting shapes in here so let me just use the opportunity also to kind of deal with this guy dragging back our reference in here Okay. Since my enemy is my move to I move to to push this back in. Okay. Making sure everything is working correctly as it should, which is fine. It is. All right. Then I can go in here and take down that. We'll take this down. And I can hold out, select this piece. Taking that piece, I can do. I can isolate this. Let me isolate this. Oh, or solo this rather. Solo this. Okay, that's the only piece for that. Let me quickly do a save. You always want to always save so in case kind of it kind of crashes so you still have your files back in there to use. Alright, this is fine. Mm, then what else? I'll divide this. Let me see. Okay, maybe four should be fine. I'll go to my alphas. Go to my alphas for this. Okay, if I if I use my alphas, I need, I need to get this shape in place first. To get this shape in place, let me go out, go out of solo mode. And to get this looking like it is in my reference before I start adding in my alpha. Uh, okay. So this, oh yeah, this would be a good time to, to turn on symmetry. Definitely be a good time to turn on symmetry. Uh, okay. All right. getting this in place okay Okay. Uh, this will be a good time to now I have the I have the general shape now. So now I can turn off symmetry on this. I'm going to work on this manually. Okay. 